Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make pockets. They are very easy, and I figured out how to make them just from um, a pocket that my friend Pasha sent me. She sent me a pocket with Harley Quinn on it. I'm not even exactly sure where it is. I think it's in Michael Little's case, but anyway. I kind of just looked at the one she made that she sent me, and I was like, oh, okay. So I'm gonna show you how to make them. I made this one not too long ago, and what pockets are, you can put them in any type of planner. People use them for bookmarks, people use them to hold stickers, people use them just for decor. Um, you can use them to hold money, you can use them to hold receipts. Um, you can virtually use them for whatever you want to stuff some things in. And so right here I have some stickers that are here. I made this one out of some vellum, some stickers, and they're, it's pretty easy to make. It's pretty, pretty easy. I have my laminator ready to go, so um, we're not here all day waiting for it to get hot. So as you can see, I just have stickers in here, little sticker kits that are in here and they're great for just keeping things contained and I like this. I did make some just recently, some smaller ones. These are out of the regular, um, I mean the card laminates that you get that are already cut to size and I made one like this. This one looks like this. So you can virtually make them any size. The big laminate, you can make it the same size. I mean, you can make it as big as the laminate to use to hold, you know, bigger sticker sheets like this one. And this one, I did a top loading one over here. If we can get it to come apart. This one is a top loading one. Looks like that. It's a little more tight, but you can still fit stuff in it. So I'm going to show you how to make some. And I have some cardstock here. I'm going to show and I have some dividers cut and so what I have is I'm going to make the same size pocket because this seems to be like a good size to fit some stuff in and I'm just going to make um, I'm going to make two of them because it's going to be virtually the same thing and so I'm going to use this is the Agenda 52 LOL kit and so I'm going to move this out of the way and what I'm going to do is what you're going to do right now or what you're going to do is to kind of measure and what I do is I need to make sure the paper fits I don't want to measure the exact measurements of the laminate because it's I need to be able to fit so I'm gonna measure a little bit shorter than the laminate okay so I'm just gonna go like this All right, let's just make sure it's lined up so that way we can measure correctly and so see where it is right here I'm just gonna measure a little bit down so you can see the black line is a little bit shorter than that and then what I'm going to do right here is since it's a little bit lower I am going to go down uh, below that and go in a little bit like that where it kind of comes off of the paper a little bit and I am going to go like that And there we go. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my pretty ruler here and I am just going to draw a line all the way down. And I'm going to draw a line all the way across. Just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my Fiskars paper cutter. I have a bigger one too, but I like using the small one when I'm, when I'm constrained for space which is kind of this video right now. So I'm just gonna cut it like that. Always save your paper scraps. You never know what you can use them for. And then just like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make sure that this fits okay. I'm gonna check the measurements. I don't wanna cut too many sheets of paper, so. As, you can, as we can see, see how it's a little too, um, too tall right here? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to, actually I'm gonna, I'd rather cut the bottom than cut the top of their heads. And so I'm just gonna cut a little bit of the feet off. And then we are going to measure it again. So even though I thought I measured correctly, I didn't. But you know, we're all trial and error here. And I'm trying to get this open. There we go. And I am just going to put it in 
again and I am going to put it right there and it's still still a little too tall maybe I didn't measure like I thought I like I thought I did okay we're gonna measure we're gonna cut a little bit more just a little bit what I may do is just cut off all right there we should be good now we should be good all right just gonna put it in like that there we go and as you can see we're gonna have just enough because that's the side I'm going to cut right there and what I'm gonna do is I am going to just measure is I am going to cut the same because it's the same on this side as well so what I'm gonna do is I am going to hold it exactly where it is and then cut and we're gonna have the same exact print on both sides so I'm just gonna cut like I said always save your scrap paper you can easily make this into a bookmark if you want so always save it. The only time I really throw it away is if it's a, this, the tiniest piece, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Something like this, I'm not gonna keep. But anything bigger than this, I will keep. So we're gonna put them together just like this. And we are going to put that in. You wanna kinda line them up so they're the same. And so it looks like this on this side and looks like that. You can use pencil if you want any race. I'm really not that anal when it comes to um, it right there. So I'm just going to put this in the laminator. And then we'll get started on the other one while that is going. And so I have some, so I cut some dashboards here and these are cut to the, the length and whatnot. But, um, I mean the width, not so much the length. So I'm just going to go through here and see which ones I want to use. And I really like this one since I'm doing, yeah, I think I might use, okay. So what I'm going to do is since this is, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to alright, I'm going to cut that. I'm going to see how much and then I'm going to cut right here, just like that. I'm going to put these together like this, and I'm going to put them in just like that. still a little too tall so what I'm gonna do is like I did the last time is I'm just gonna cut a little bit just like that and okay I'm trying to make sure these are lined up exactly the same okay and if you're looking at my nails I just took my nail polish off and I didn't bother to repaint it because I just didn't feel like it so if you're saying my nails are dirty whatever then go right ahead okay <laughs> all right and so I'm putting the other one into um, the laminator and this is what this one looks like right here there we go. I usually put them through twice, and so that's exactly what I'm gonna do while we're waiting. I like to put them through at least twice because that gives me um, that gives me reassurance that it's going to um, you know that's going to work the way I want it to work. So we're gonna. 
just about done. Okay, so we did this one twice. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take, I can do it right here. What I'm gonna do is I am going to cut right here, just like this. cut oops let's make sure we don't cut diagonal just like that and then we have a pocket just like that and don't worry the paper will stick to it because it's been laminated so just like that you have a pocket and so I'm gonna do the same thing over here but I'm gonna cut this one a little further down Oops, this one's gonna be a little harder to cut because it's thicker cardstock. And then we have a pocket. Oops, well there we go. <laughs> so we have one. Okay, so what I what you could do, what you could do is for now. That happens, it's happened to me before. So what I could do is do this. So if you don't want to waste any more laminating sheets, let me show you what you can do. What you can do, if you guys are wondering, that is masking tape. Like I wouldn't do this if I was selling this to somebody, but since I'm not selling it and it's just for my personal use, this is something that I would do. And so what I would do is I would just get some masking tape cut it to size, and then run it through the laminator one more time. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And it will fuse its way on there. So, let's say I want to take some of these stickers out and just put them, you know, into the little pocket. And that is how it would go in there, just like that. That is how it, it it goes in there, but this one, this pocket's a little bit bigger than the other one. Um, but you guys kind of get the idea, and that's how you make a pocket. That is exactly how you make it. See, as you can see, it's a little bit more shallow. But yeah, so as you can see, it's on there, and now we have back to another pocket, and this one's even a little, this one's not as, um, as good in length, but in it's a little bit more. But yeah, you can put whatever you want in here. So like if I want to put these planner affirmation cards in here, I totally could just like that. And there's your pockets. And so I hope that was pretty easy for you to follow and all that good stuff. And I do hope you enjoyed this video. I love making pockets because they're cute. You can make it with any kind of card stock or you can leave them blank and just do laminate if you really want to. But yeah, I do hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I will see you all next time. Bye.